coconut water was the medicine and the key to life. He's just like your classic working class surfer, like works as hard as he can trimming coconuts so he can fund his surfing. Every penny he earns, he spends on surf trips. I think more people know him as Coconut Willie than Will Hunt. I was born in Pahia, raised in Haiku, uh, Maui, all my life. My dad used to shape boards, and uh, he made me my first few surfboards and stuff, hand shape, which is really cool. Yeah, it's a Hunt Hawaii shape. That's my dad's label. He's like the full-on celebrity coconut guy on Maui. I've been doing the farming and uh, sustainable agriculture almost nine years now. Climbing up 50-foot trees, like swinging around in the trade winds, harvesting by myself in like the middle of the jungle. What he does every day, he risks his life every day. The whole thing about him climbing those trees makes me far more nervous than the big wave riding, to tell you the truth. Get ready for the winter of your life, well it's going to be like nothing you've ever seen. And sure enough, you know, I think I got more barrel this winter than all the winters put together. When you ride a wave at Piani and you make it to the rocks and you know, you live to tell about it, it's just like one of the best, most natural highs in the world, you know, the adrenaline pumping in your veins and you just feel like so good, like, that's why it is such a reward is because it's a risk, it really is, you know? You know, I grew up eating the fish off the reef there since I was a little kid, you know, and camping there, and, you know, I lived right up the street, and that's my home. Time, the first time I ever served Jaws, the first wave I ever got, paddled out, the swell picked up, and I got, like, one of the biggest waves of the day, and everyone was baffled. I was hooked. Coconut, basically, for me, has created a way for me to, to chase swells and to have surfboards and try to ride some of the biggest waves in the world and just you know to be a part of it a lot of good energy it's fun to be around you know <laughs> so that day we started out at Piagi and um, I think it got a little too windy so we shot on over to Honolulu and it was just a scene. It was like bombing, bombing Honolulu, like some of the biggest I've ever seen it. Catching the wave from coconuts all the way through to kiki bowls is like one of the coolest feelings ever. It's like over a minute, 10 second long ride. I got the call, it was gonna be good from Lopez, and of course, pulling the trigger within three hours before I left showed up and there's nobody out and oh my god like why is no one here it was like solid 15 foot with 20 foot sets here and there meanwhile Aaron Gold was being brought back to life and that's why everyone left I saw a couple other guys jump out so I paddled out and, and I had like a crazy airdrop stuck the airdrop bottom turn and was like oh my god the lip's gonna break straight on my head and my board lifted up as the lip pushed me down and pushed my leg out sideways and tear my uh, MCL. So now I'm doing rehab and first wave flew all the way down to Fiji, spent all my money. <sighs> Can't wait to get back in the water. The fact that he's riding these big waves all over the world is a little bit nerve-wracking. I always wanted him to be happy and as a mother I can honestly say that I'm glad he's living his dream. The only way you can tell the age of a coconut is by tapping on it, the way it jiggles, it's just like a melon. So as the coconut ages, the shell gets harder, and the harder it is when you tap it, and the firmer it is, then the more you can tell the more mature. So the more jiggly it is, the younger, you know? So there's a lot of like tricks to the trade. Try to be like water and go with the flow. The best coconut story of all time, apparently he was up trimming coconuts and the coconut trees are like infested with rats and centipedes and all kinds of stuff. And I guess a centipede had landed on him, crawled in his pants and bit him on the nut. And he freaked out, climbed down the tree as fast as he could, ripped his shorts off 
cut open a coconut and dipped his sack in the coconut water and said it cured it instantly. 